thank you so much for joining me for today's presentation, Going Mobile When Traditional Engagement Tactics Fail, Technology Can Help. My name is Megan Francis. I am the Partner Marketing Manager over here at UpDocs. Um, just a few housekeeping notes. We are recording today's event. So if you do have questions throughout the webinar, feel free to click into your GoToWebinar panel to the right in the questions section. Type those out there and I'll try to get to those um, questions and answers by the end of the presentation. So as you can see, we are going to talk about a common trend going on in healthcare right now um, as it relates to patient engagement. So today, today we'll be discussing patient engagement, um, a hot topic among all independent providers, I would say, as the push to value-based care kind of approaches pretty rapidly. So we'll go over the pains of patient engagement tactics, specifically some traditional tactics that we've talked to with our customer base that they have replaced with UpDocs, and also go into how implementing technology can really alleviate the burdens on you and your staff, as well as adding a convenience level to your patient engagement initiatives that you probably haven't seen before. So at the end of the day, engaging your patients obviously is wildly important, but the implications these initiatives might have on your staff are just as important to you and your practice. So traditionally, word of mouth and social media would be the most strategic way to engage with your patients, especially in today's world. Um, and also you wanna be non-invasive about it. So putting your message on Facebook, um, advertising in your practice, also alerting patients while they're in your practice has its benefit for sure. But as the world changes and the convenience and adoption of mobile phone applications becomes um, the norm and common practice with you as a consumer as well as your patients as consumers, instant gratification becomes an immediate thing for them and it becomes much more what they expect uh, for things that they're buying and you are one of those services that they're purchasing. So their preferences are changing as the technology changes, but is the way that you are communicating with them changing as well? In a world of why wait when I can order it online or shop online or making appointments online, healthcare truly has to adjust to these changes. Traditional tactics aren't going to necessarily work anymore in this world. So your practice needs options that will get you in front of your patients without overloading your staff and without being, for lack of a better word, annoying to your patients. So just some simple stats here. 97% of Americans are using text messaging right now. That's huge. That's almost everybody, <laughs> including my grandmother. She texts me every single day. And 90% of text messages are read within the first three minutes of receipt. Also, if you can get in front of your patient within three minutes, say that's sharing a result, say that's providing them education on an appointment coming up. If they are able to read that within three minutes, wouldn't you want to use that method of delivery just to have the most impact with your patients? What we're gonna talk through are simple applications that UpDocs provides that allow you to leverage technology in that way. Creating a proactive outreach approach with patients can really improve the relationships you have with them as well as improve the overall outcomes for your patients. Today we're gonna to discuss how you can improve in three specific areas, adherence, efficiency in your practice, and revenue generation. So adherence can be driven up with education, trust, so building out those relationships of trust, and different follow-up methods. However, once a patient is out of your practice or out of the appointment room, the room for error from either misunderstanding of a diagnosis, forgetfulness of the plan, or even just flat out ignoring your plan can drive the risk factors up. Specifically, 40% of diagnosis sustains significant risk because of this forgetfulness or non-adherence to your plan. Ensuring that your staff is satisfied and working in an efficient manner is also key to driving patient engagement or at least making patient engagement initiatives successful. So whomever is leading your administrative team, 
would be the person most likely suffering the most from traditional traditional engagement tactics. So whoever is really feeling that pain will be the person you need to kind of talk to about implementing implementing new strategies. So just a quick stat here, it takes up to three tries to reach patients. That can be a lot of time devoted in a day trying to track down a patient. So whether your staff is manually calling patients to remind them of appointments or trying to share results with them or alert them to a notification in their patient portal, all of that is tracking them down by phone, which if you're anything like me and a lot of Americans today, we normally don't answer our phone if we don't know the number. And if you aren't particularly close with the staff at your practice, a patient might not actually save your number. So it's really, really important to try to get in front of them in a way that's going to be easy and effective for your practice. And then when it comes to revenue, developing a proactive strategy can also have substantial impact on the generated revenue monthly. So informing your patients on new services you might be offering or leveraging your knowledge to gain buy-in from your patients by educating them on different diagnosis or alerting them to flu clinics or diabetes screenings that might be coming up. Having knowledge is truly power. So the more knowledge and education you are able to pass along to your patients will actually provide more revenue in the long term for your practice. And then 73% of practice revenue goes to overhead costs. So if you are using manual operations, whether that be paper flooding your office or a phone line to call your patients, all of those costs are taking away from the revenue coming into the practice. So if you are better able to implement solutions that are lowering those overhead costs, that's driving more revenue into your practice, as well as leveraging solutions that can engage your patients in a way that brings them in for more services that you're offering, that again, will just build that revenue out for you. So when can you initiate patient engagement exactly? I say whenever. Updocs as a team, we say you can engage your patients at your preference. So if you want to have a pre-visit strategy, if you want to message them while in the encounter room just to make sure that they are understanding, you're giving them access to really communicate with you in an easy way. Or then post-visit. Follow-up is essential when it comes to diagnosing a patient with a disease or your chronic care patients, or also just letting them know that their results are in and they're fine. Post-visit strategy is going to be huge as well. So there are so many opportunities to leverage technology to build out trust and compliance in the plan for your care. If you have the tools and you know how to use them, you will be 100% successful without adding more work to your staff and without breaking your budget as well. So some simple ways that you can implement tools like UpDocs to really build out this strategy would be providing education before the visit. So if you have a what to know guide before your patient comes into the practice, you can provide that through technology. If you wanted to offer a new service that you may need to educate them a little bit more on before they come into the practice, you can do that then. You need to let them know that they have an appointment coming up to make sure that you avoid any costly no-show costs. And then insurance requests. If you are better able to get their insurance information or new page new patient registration before the appointment, that would build a level of trust and respect with your patient that a lot of practices don't see as a benefit. So letting them know that you respect their time, getting that information before the visit allows both your patient and your staff to free up that 15 minutes or so that that intake process normally takes. And then with the patient encounter, offering unique follow-up options. So sometimes we have um, Practices using our solutions to text message a patient directly from UpDocs when they are in the room with the physician, letting them know if they have any questions, they have a chance right there on their mobile phone to follow up with you, ask those questions, get their answers in a convenient method for them. And we will talk a little bit more about that throughout the presentation, and I can show you specific examples of that. And then you can also share your portal or your website within the encounter room as well, letting them know that there are safe places they can go to communicate with you or your staff to make sure that they're getting the answers and building that trust um, as you see fit. And then post-visit, 
You can easily and compliantly share results with them. You can ask them questions, make sure that they're feeling good about their diagnosis or about the plan that you have them on. You can survey your demographics, so understanding what you could or couldn't be doing better in your practice. And then always sending out educational materials. Knowledge, again, is power. The more they know, the more they will follow and adhere to your plan. So just allowing them to have access to information as well as providing them access with different technological tools will definitely enhance the way you're engaging with your patients. So just a quick overview of Updocs before we dive right in. I kind of um, gave you a, a few examples of different tools we actually have within the Updocs platform um, within that last slide. But specifically, Updocs was created as a communication tool. So we started out as a platform built by physicians for physicians. As healthcare moved um, kind of behind the rest of the world as everyone move forward with technology and their advancements and working with email and working through different CRM platforms, healthcare was kind of left in the dust. So one of our co-founders, Dr. Andy Barbash, was really frustrated with the lack of systems used for healthcare. So what we came up with was a HIPAA compliant location to do all of the administrative and communication um, things you're doing on a daily basis in one place in an easy way. So what Updocs provides are three tiers or solution suites as we call them, one for engagement, one for productivity, and one for communication. At its core, we are a communication platform. We truly want you to be able to leverage technology in the best way possible. We provide a certain level of customization as well within the Updocs platform because not one size fits all. When you're adding technology into an independent practice, you guys are already stressed out and bogged down by a lot of other things. Implementing technology shouldn't be one of them. So what Updocs provides is an easy and seamless way to do all of the things within one platform. Right now, we have over 300,000 Updocs users with over 100 EMR integrations covering over 80 million patient identities. So we've really expanded in the past eight years, and this is just a quick overview to understand where we've come from, from a mom and pop shop opening up, um, kind of help those independent physicians streamline their communication process, to now a robust platform that helps you do all of the tedious tasks you're doing manually on a regular basis um, in an easier and more efficient way. The solutions we're actually gonna talk through today live in our engagement solution suite. Specifically, we're going to talk through SMS text and secure texting and how that helps, automated appointment reminders, and how giving you an automated system that runs in the background can really improve the process for your staff, as well as getting those patients in and generating that revenue. And then broadcast, a way that you can tailor messages along with tailored segments of your patients to improve the communication going out on a daily basis. To kick it off, we're going to go into the automated appointment reminders. So when you sign up with Updocs, you get free training and free support. And within that free training, you will set up your Updocs appointment reminders. We have three customizable appointment reminders. You can pick the method of delivery as well as tailor the message that goes out. You can also set up different time frames. So if you don't want to message your patients after the six o'clock time frame, no worries, you can set those limitations here. You shouldn't have to come back and change these because it is an automated system and with our free training, they set that up for you based on your preferences and based on your patient preferences. So this will be the same inbox you'll use for all communication, whether that be your fax, your secure messages, your direct secure email, all of those things are flowing into one location. Quick and easy setup. And then we're gonna go into our broadcast. So broadcast is gonna be something a little bit like appointment reminders as you're able to send out a text message, an email, or a phone call. But broadcast messages, you can do anything except remind about an appointment. So you could do a list of happy birthdays, or we have a lot of people on the East Coast using this to alert their staff and their patient database of inclement weather or closures. Or if you're not gonna be in the office today, you need to let your appointments for the day know. You can have those lists custom built within Updocs and then a template to send out that message. 
This is also a cleaner look of the broadcast messaging. Specifically, what I would use broadcast message and what we've seen a lot of our customers using it for is to educate before appointments. So that pre-visit strategy to ensure adherence, this is definitely going to be one of the best ways to utilize this tool. So what we've seen in the past is a pediatrician customer of ours actually used this to educate the um, parents of his patients about the HPV vaccine. So not only is this um, creating a pre-visit strategy to engage them and build that trust to let them know that you're looking out for them, this is also a way to get them informed. So before they ever visit your practice, they already know if they're going to do the vaccine. And then if they do the vaccine, that's more revenue for you. So one use case to kind of cover down on three of those topics. And it's also extremely efficient. So rather than your practice staff having to call or email or portal message every single person in your database that you wish to target with this message, you can build a custom list. You could do all females, all males, um, patients of a certain age, a certain demographic. You can do all of your patients. You can do your full address book. Any way you'd like to customize that, you can. And then you can create your own templates as well. So if you'd like to do a monthly birthday announcement just to get in front of your patients and let them know that you care, you can also do that. So really customizable to however you want to interact with your patients, you can. Now, the only thing I will note is that patients cannot reply to broadcast messages. I will show you a couple solutions though that allow you that access to give them a reply option. So this is also one use case for broadcast messaging for flu clinics if you're trying to drive patients into flu clinics, make sure that they are healthier, <laughs> but also giving you the chance to offer these services to your patients um, in a more impactful way. You can use broadcast to do that, educate them on a flu clinic coming up, send out the different types of vaccines they may be interested in, and just educate them a little bit further on why to vaccinate. Again, just a simple way to use broadcast. We also have what we call secure text coming out. In the Updocs platform, you are actually able to compose a text message one off to a patient, but we give you the option you can share information securely or unsecurely. So if you needed to follow up with a patient about um, coming in for the day, letting them know you were running behind, that's a really good use case for unsecure text messaging. However, if you wanted to share results quickly and efficiently with your patient, we do offer the secure option where they would get the message, type in their birth date, and then they're able to view it at the convenience of their own phone. You also have the option to allow your patients to text you first. A lot of practices are a little iffy about this because they don't want their patients kind of flooding them with messages. But because Updocs is a single platform built around all these different communications, it shouldn't bog down your staff at all. But if you do give your patients the options to message first, this is a really good way if you have patients calling the office constantly and kind of getting in your staff's way from kind of getting the administrative tasks done for the day, this allows an ease of access for your patients that's convenient and makes them feel safe and builds that trust out. Um, but also, it's really, really easy for your staff to kind of cipher through the messages coming in because they can organize them in a way that's customizable to how they want to. Built to customize per your workflow. And then just a really quick quote that I think goes along with the message of today's web seminar nicely. So that same pediatrician that I spoke about sending out those HPV vaccine educational pamphlets um, through our broadcast messaging, is one of our biggest advocates for the patient engagement suite. It's just an easy way for you to get your patients in without inconveniencing them and without inconveniencing your staff. So as the healthcare trends toward patient engagement and patient advocacy and making sure that you're implementing the right solutions and you're getting in touch with your patients to make sure you're providing the highest level of care, Updocs is there to provide you with a platform that is easy to use as email for your staff and also provides deliverability to your patients that's convenient for them.
the updocs overview just one more time um, for the people in the back. <laughs> we are multiple solutions inside of one platform. So you have the option or opportunity to use up to three separate suites of updocs or pick as you'd like. So if you are happy with your communication today and how you receive and send messages, no problem. You still have the engagement suite to look into. All of these trying to push for more efficient and streamlined workflows, creating more productivity in your practice and making sure that you get back to what's most important and that is the health of your patients. One workflow to support all of your external and internal communications and then also the patient engagement. One inbox organized in a color-coded way making it super simple for you guys to use. So again, we help you streamline that manual process, get your staff off the phones, we empower patients in their care, creating more buy-in so that they're adhering to your plan. We help you generate new revenue by educating your patients on upcoming services, and also you can utilize broadcast to message your referral network as well to make sure that they are aware of all of the services you're offering. And then help provide those drive those provider relationships. So make sure that you're interacting not only with your patients and your staff, but the other providers you work with on a daily basis in a, an efficient and easy way.